What's up, guys? This is my, um, really first episode that I've actually done something other than the other one I just posted about how to do the whole cultist event. Check that out. I'll put the link in the description. It's about how to do the whole lunatic cultist event, like, including the cultist and the Nord Four Pillars with just bead armor and potions and a razor blade typhoon. I'm out, preferable. Um, today I wanted to be showing you, I'm going to mainly be doing videos, either let's plays, or which weapon is better. Like, my first video I did was Star vs. Myanmar. Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the Solar Eruption versus the Daybreak. Now, this has been a question I've been asking myself for a while, even though I use the solar eruption more, the daybreak is a great weapon. So let's get down to it. So right now we heck? Yeah. right now we are going Oh auto pause is on <laughs> right now we are going to check it out. So I'm gonna check it out without any Accessories on except for the warding DPS meter, which will not make a big difference. Let's just put that there. And I'll take the armor off. Okay, so let's get to this. I'm sorry, guys. It's just someone's in my house and they keep talking. I keep telling them to shut up. Okay, so let's um check this out. Okay, so first of all, the solar eruption can go through walls, which is kind of big, and but the daybreak does attach to enemies, so that is also. So they both have one thing that is unusual about them. Using the grappling hook. Okay, so I prefer the solar eruption. Oh, I shouldn't be getting into that yet. Now, the DPS base DPS is 100. No, it's about 100. Let's say 110. No, 111, because I have Godly on it. And this um, will do about 100. And 60. Seems about right. Okay, so 160 base damage and 121. So it's not bad base damage. It's not a bad base damage. Um, so let's get to on target guys. So for one target, the daybreak does. Ugh, that's horrible. It does that much damage, but the burning it leaves is the part that makes the daybreak unusually unusual and not bad. Because it can stay in doing 200 damage. Like, it's just really good because of the 200 damage. But then when you go on the other hand, and you find the solar eruption, it goes through all of the targets. And it does insanely, like, it does, like, a hundred times more damage. But I still like to use the Daybreak, so I might call this a tie, but Solar Eruption does win. Mm, yeah, Solar Eruption wins. Wait! I'm sorry, guys. We forgot to test it out um, with the armor and stuff. So even though this can go through walls, the Daybreak still is a good weapon. Maybe a great weapon. I use it maybe more than Solar Eruption. So let's test this out with armor and accessories. Gotta put the celestial shell on. Put the platinum shield. Menacing, menacing. Mad cuffs there. And then. Menacing drums. Um, the wings. Oh, we'll just take the platinum shield off because it's not really a DPS. And put this on. So, okay, so now. They do 174 for the solar eruption and 247. It's a big difference. So if we check it out now, it's doing a lot more damage. Like, 
triple the damage it just did. Which is amazing, because this is a really great weapon. So if you have solar armor and medicine, most of your accessories are medicine, I would still prefer to use the Daybreak, maybe more than the solar option. Just because of the fact that it does like 200 damage, 200 damage constantly with you throwing them and with the other stuff. And you can, it's, it's a throwable. It goes as far, even though it's controlled by gravity, it goes as far like there. This does go pretty far. It's an extended sword, but it just doesn't go far enough. Like that or the daybreak. Wait, I'm in front of the target zombie. See, it goes double the length, maybe triple. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of leaning forward to the daybreak, but solar option still is a great weapon, especially for its wall use. Like, there are so many bosses that you have to use the daybreak, like, I mean, the solar eruption like this, so. I'm saying that since the solar eruption does more damage, even though, in my opinion, it's not as fun to use, um, I'm leaning over that the solar eruption wins. Once again, be sure to put any comments on which weapon you think is better, Daybreak or Solar Eruption. And I'll see you next video.